All right, traders, watch this video for Wednesday, November 4th. Uh, no, that's, that's not right. Today is Wednesday. Jesus. Um, Thursday, November 4th. Um, today was FOMC day, and I got to confess, I had somewhere to go at lunch, so I made a couple trades this morning, left at lunch, came back, and then FOMC was getting ready to hit, and then I thought, you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. Um, I, I never trade well post FOMC. Uh, let me look at five minute candles. Uh, hold on, I have after hours on there, but it looks like a really nice pop um, after the FOMC and closed strong. So, anyway, sitting at all time highs. Uh, I did next to nothing today. And uh, so, I'm just going to go right into what I'm watching for tomorrow. BNGO had this pop and then an inside day closing near the high and then the, today's high is not very far from uh, yesterday's high breakout. So breakout high, I should say. Fuel cell is holding up pretty well after the gap down. I still think it's interesting over 10. Um, where to top out today? 955. Maybe we get some kind of setup where a break of today's high could get us to 10. We get in early and maybe it won't give us any kind of A plus setup at all. DNUT an inside day after yesterday's pop. Putting that on long watch. PYPL, remember I said I was waiting for an afternoon breakout? I wasn't around today, but I mean, it didn't exactly kill it, but the early high was 229.23, and you had a cup and handle going into that. So hopefully some of you were astute enough to maybe go above this handle, maybe through the whole number 229 with the high of day above. I didn't check the chat logs, but you know what? That only um, lasted, it, it, well, in 15 minutes, you only had 15 minutes left in the session. Still kind of got a decent little trade out of it, right? Um, I wasn't there for it. I've been looking for that for several days in a row. Um, having said that, we do have the first green close in a whole lot of days. So I'm just going to look for a follow through with that bounce tomorrow. EQOS, big pop, couple days lower, and then kind of hit very close to today's highs, very close to yesterday's highs. So it's interesting over that two day area. We'll see. Um, Tilray, pot stock. I'll zoom in a little bit here. You had a nice rally from like 10 to about 12 in a little two and a half sessions. Came back down, held support, and starting to curl back up. And if I show you five minute candles, you can see it did really have a nice move this morning and then didn't really do much after that. So I'm not in love with this chart setup, but I am going to keep that, keep that and uh, the pot stocks, other pot stocks maybe on watch. Let me pan out a little bit here. TCS, I believe this is the container store. Big breakout today. We'll look for a continuation setup in tomorrow. Nice volume two. XRTX, big breakout. It's only been trading what, for a couple weeks, um, but a nice pop today. So we're going to see if it gives any kind of follow through setup tomorrow. Um, looks like it's higher in after hours. That happens a lot. One day, BIRD has been trading one day, but I, uh, I came back from lunch and was looking for a pullback play. I never did catch it because then I had to go, but um, you know what? It, it seemed like it was trading pretty well. Look at the initial pop, flag, another pop, flag. Uh, and then back through the whole number 26. I didn't check the chat logs, but I wouldn't be surprised to see if someone uh, called that through 26 with the earlier high above. And that is a really neat trade. Again, I don't know if anybody did that. Looks like a Kevin P setup all day long, though. Um, I won't be surprised to find out tomorrow if somebody called that exact setup. Anyway, it's only been trading for one day, but it seems like a fairly clean trader so far. So I'm going to watch it. MQ, couple red days, but closing way off its lows today. Been a strong stock, so I'm going to watch that one. BKKT. Remember, I'm looking for day trades. I don't hold overnight. So just looking for stuff that might be in play tomorrow. BKKT, uh, big rip, pullback, another rip. And you got a couple days lower now. Um, you know, maybe we get a bounce play set up in it tomorrow. I'd like to see it come in a little more though. Um, PTPI. Uh, this was like the only way I made money today. I think it was on this on a pullback play. But anyway, it ripped and went and closed about in the middle of its range. So I'll keep it on a chart, but got some bag holders in it now. And then Zillow, the letter Z, um, four sessions ago, this was 104 bucks, and today it got down to 63 at one point. Um, so I'm just putting it on bounce watch. Uh, looks like after hours, it's gapping up a little bit to around 68, so we'll see. Um, but it, it's a good snapback bounce play setup um, with that kind of a tank for over three days in a row, for three days in a row. Anyway, that's it. Uh, hopefully we'll find some good gappers tomorrow and some news plays, and there uh, should be plenty to trade. Uh, FOMC's behind us too, all right? Anyway, I'm done babbling. See you guys in the chat room in the morning.